good morning from the middle of the Serengeti here in Tanzania in Africa. And what I've been doing for the last four days is I've been on a safari through Tanzania. And what we're going to do today is take you on one of those safari days. So this is our base camp for the night. You can see that the sunrise is happening right now. Right in here is the breakfast house. That is the kitchen. And we all camped out in these tents. And when I tell you wildlife comes right up to your tent, I can show you a picture. We were surrounded by about 200 buffalo last night. And um, it's a lot scarier than you think. Now, probably the most surprising thing that I can tell you is inside here, this is where you have breakfast. There is actually functioning Wi-Fi. And look, you can see outside the window, we are literally in the middle of the national park. This is the most famous wildlife area in all of Africa. And it has functioning Wi-Fi. Also, there is a bathroom here. And one surprise with the bathroom is, and you're gonna be shocked with this, there's actually hot water, like boiling hot water. I have no idea. Actually, they use solar panels. I think that's how they do it. But one thing you have to be careful in here is especially mosquitoes. Mosquitoes love the bathroom. And uh, malaria is a real thing. Um, in this part of the world. So a lot of our group is on malaria pills. I am not on malaria pills. Smart, stupid, little of both. So right now it is time to pack up and leave and let me show you exactly where we've been staying. This is our tent here. For the last two nights we've been tenting in the Serengeti. Um, it is super, super, super basic. It is super, super, super basic. You can see that it is literally just a tent, a mat, a sleeping bag, and uh, that's about it. But that's really all you need because when you look outside your mosquito net, super important because there's malaria here, you can see it's a beautiful sunrise coming out. Other people are tenting as well. So in my opinion, <laughs> this is way cooler than uh, a hotel. But now we are going to head into our safari car. Like I said, um, I've been on the safari for four days now. This is day four of five. I cannot believe how quick this safari has gone. I, I can't believe I basically only have today and tomorrow left. Um, but today's gonna be a big day, I think. I think we're gonna see a lot of elephants. We're heading into the crater. We go, we go. Okay, Nicholas is rushing me, we go. So to just give you an example of how common it is to see animals here, we haven't even left our tent and we just saw a zebra and now we are literally, you can see about 15 feet away from a giraffe who doesn't seem to like us very much. Time is seven in the morning and we've literally just begun our safari for the day. And maybe within 15 minutes of getting into our location, Look at what we see outside the left side of our car. Now back there, you can see it's either buffalo or wildebeest, but if we pan right there, you can see that is a sleeping giant. That right there is a lion. You can see there's another safari car pulling up beside us. Whenever you see safari cars stopped on the road, that means there's something pretty extraordinary on the side. <laughs> So this is what inside the safari car looks like. You can see that the roof is wide open, but also we have these windows that open and shut and it allows you to get super, super close to the wildlife. Uh, what we've seen so far this morning in the crater, you can see it's mostly fog. Again, that's because it is so early in the morning. But what we've seen so far is we've seen hippos, we've seen wildebeest, we've seen lions, like I showed you super early, zebras, of course. Uh, zebras are super common. Um, we've also seen a couple flamingos as well, and off to the side here, through the window, you can see that there is a pack of hyenas. So like I was saying earlier, during the safari, when you see some other trucks stopped, it's because there's pr something pretty extraordinary there. As you can see in front of us, there is a pack of five female lions all sitting out, enjoying the sun. 
And the closest ones are right here. You can see this one's got its belly up. That one's taking a little bit of shade. But when in your life did you think you'd get within 10 feet of five lions? So each safari day goes for about seven to eight hours. During that day, we saw everything from more wildebeest and zebras to more lions. You can see we're driving around, even flamingos. But you usually end somewhere in the middle of the day just because it does get dark early and you have to get back to camp. You have to have lunch, set up your tent for the next day. That's where we're arriving now. Well, now it is noontime and we've returned to the camp. We're not sleeping here, but we've come here just to have a quick lunch. Uh, the foods on these safaris have been absolutely phenomenal. It's basically like a buffet style. We actually have a chef, chef is in there. Uh, he's traveled with us the entire, well, today's day four, so he'll travel with us the entire five day safari. And he's a pretty good chef. So this is actually where I will be sleeping tonight. A little bit of an upgrade from the campground as you can see there's a bed and if I show you my view you can see it's basically one big tent in a tent lodge area this is actually outside the National Park um, so it's much safer than the other nights because the other nights we had Buffalo walking through the tents we had hyenas um, if I can find the clip of hyenas I'll include it in this video but yeah, this is going to be me. You can see a couple of beers there, but it's going to be me for the evening. And as I try to get some rest here, there is one more day on my safari. It will complete five day safari in Tanzania, going to basically all of the um, famous national parks here. It's been absolutely worth every penny. Um, I'll do a little recap after this of how much it costs and I guarantee you it will blow your mind. So I just got back from my African safari in Tanzania and you guys know I have done trips all over the world from North Africa, Southeast Asia, Europe, North America, South America. Without a doubt, this was my favorite trip I've done in my entire life, which is a huge statement. To be completely honest, it's unlike anything I've ever done before. Every day you are seeing animals that you read about growing up as a kid from lions, hyenas, leopards. We saw a rhinoceros, elephant, wildebeest. But not only that, the entire vibe of the experience, everybody is so excited to see these animals. You're getting so up close and personal. The closest we got to lions was like five feet away. But not only that, all the food was included, all the transportation was included, all the accommodation was included, everything was included in what you were paying for, except for your flights and tips for the guide. And of course, the big question that you're wondering is how much did all of this cost? Well, during the series itself, I kept calling calling it the cheapest safari in Africa. And that's because it was literally the cheapest one that I could find. This was a five day safari, including everything, going to four different national parks, and it cost $850 for the entire thing. Price per day, this comes out to $170 per day. And what you get for $170, in my opinion, is absolutely worth it. But one thing that I can tell you is you can actually negotiate these safaris. I was able to get a discount of 880 to 850, but there were other people that were with me that told me they negotiated for their three days and four day safari. But for me, I didn't know that. So when he said he'd give me a $30 discount to 850, that was totally fine with me. But what I will do in the description, I will put a link to the exact safari that I did because personally, I just think it was worth it. I, I Every penny that I spent was a penny worth spending. I wanna thank all the Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon subscribers for making this channel possible. Always remember guys, travel is a privilege, and I'll see you next time.